Hey guys, this is D. In this video, I'll be showing you how to design your own templates. Just to show you the basic or general idea and workflow. Also, I'll show you the tools that I use to make the process much quicker. So let's begin. I'm using After Effects 2020. Click new composition with the settings, 30 frames. 15 seconds for the, the duration. Click OK. Of course, with your basic setup, we have your background image, your photo or video placeholder, your text placeholders, some design elements, PNG or transparent files, players, particles. Um, but I'll just uh, show you the basic ones like image, text, background, and how to duplicate slides. So let's import this background image, click and drag. You can also go here, file import. So as you can see with this image, this is in high resolution. So if we want to zoom in or out, we can still have the high resolution. So let's set this to 3D. And to change the size, you just hit S on your keyboard like so. And let's change this color, maybe add a tint effect. I'm using FX console by video copilot. It's free. I'll just place the link inside the description. So shift space bar is my shortcut. You can change the shortcut from here. So let's type in tints, change the color, something like that. Then add another element. In this case, I'm using this PNG plant. Turn it to 3D layer. Then change the position. So we need to change the position of the background to make it further at the back. Hit P. Then maybe 2000. Then you need to scale this up. Maybe this, scale this down. And to make duplicates, just cons press Ctrl D. Then hit R if you want to change the rotation. And place this here. Another duplicate, maybe here. We can also change the color. Actually copy the tint effect on the background layer. Ctrl C. Then paste it on maybe this one. Or color variation. And right now, let's add a holder for your image or videos. I'm using this. Then maybe a portrait uh, layout. Let's click this to so we can see. Then we can just pre-comp this. Control Shift C. Rename this to image holder one with the settings. And then for the tool, I'm using auto crop to crop this holder. So because when we double click this, we can see the space here. Hit auto crop. I'll place the link in the description. I'm not sure if this is free. Double click. So as we can see, so let's change this and let's lock this aspect ratio, maybe to 1,500. And then press Control Alt F to auto fit. Then let's uh, center this anchor point here, Control Alt Home. Let's import an image. Maybe this, click and drag. 
hit V on your keyboard so you can use the selection tool put this on top turn this off while holding out then the outline maybe here you can change the color by clicking here select your color so as we can see in our composition let's change this composition name Control K slide one make this in 3d layer we can change the size again let's center the anchor point Control alt home maybe change the rotation a bit like so then let's add in a text placeholder using this tool one let's change the color from here change the size change the position of this and make this 3d something like that now just a simple animation for the text holder i'm using animation composer i'm not affiliated with this tool but i'll just leave again the link so let's use some basic animation here maybe left maybe bottom parts then change this to maybe just 20 hit uu on your keyboard so we can just animate by words so then let's add a camera control shift alt c in this settings click ok then let's add a motion click the stopwatch to add a keyframe then at the end maybe zoom out while pressing c on your keyboard and let's make the adjustments for the background maybe scale this up add more copies rotation let's copy the tint effect paste it here put it behind the photo then rotation here you can change the uh, orientation for this here if you like it centered so when you change the text it will just be centered so now let's add animation to the in and out points of this uh, slide so let's add a null layer control shift alt y change this to maybe green you can just add it from here new light camera null object I'm getting the uh, shortcuts here and then turn this to 3d layer parent this camera here so maybe position click P then zoom in then highlight this i'm using flow for the is in um, motion so if you don't have this flow uh, tool or extension you can use motion two or three same thing here or if you don't have these tools just use this graph editor here maybe just move this part here trim this so now if we want to have the effect on the depth of field just turn this on then your aperture to around 250 or maybe 420 now if you want your camera to autofocus on your main image 
we can place an expression here. For the expressions, uh, I'm getting it from motionscript.com and some in Creative Cow. So this is free. Just copy and paste it. Alt click and paste the expressions here. Then I need to highlight this part. So the target part would be the image holder. So, so whenever we move the camera, it will just focus on the main image. Now, if we like to end this slide at around six seconds, we can just place a keyframe here then maybe zoom out then go to our flow tool we can actually uh, use some default curves here and of course when it zoomed out we need to adjust the background image we can also change the image here if you like to have some variation uh, control d Scale this up and let's import another PNG image. Oops, uh, project. Then go here, import. Then while this is selected, press Alt on your keyboard and click and drag. Like so. Control D to make duplicates. Another, maybe put this in front. So let's make a new composition. Hit Control N. Let's call this main. Maybe this video would be around 40 seconds. Just click and drag it here. The slide number one. So this one ended at around six. Go back to your main. Trim this one. Now, to make duplicates, you cannot just hit Ctrl D and make uh, a new copy because it's using the same pre comp. So, if we click inside, it's using the same image holder one. So, if we change the image here, it will also change the image for slide number two. So, what I use we have this tool called uh, True Comp Duplicator. I think there's a free version. Uh, just Google it. And say if we want to make um, five copies, just select this and hit this button. Click OK. It will have some uh, copies with the different image placeholders so let's place this all in then trim this because the out point ended at around six seconds then let's uh, sequence this part so And let's trim the composition. And right click, trim comp to work area. Uh, so when we change the, oops, you can just switch the slide to a six. Two, six, oh. So when we change the image of uh, number two, let's say this one, click and drag there. Let's go back to our main composition. Yeah. So for variation, you just um, 
adjust or change the position also with the plants like so for the text here So it's really important for you to have high resolution images. So uh, when it is zoomed in, still be in high resolution. And for the text, if you're doing this for other clients, uh, you might want to use some universal uh, fonts. Now, if you want to change the position of the animation in, you can just delete this part here. Maybe it is going from the left side. So, like so. And this one, instead of zooming out, you can just change this to maybe to the right side. And then use the flow again to make sure and of course this is folder number two so you get the idea here now if you want to just use a simple fade in and out for the transitions between the slides here you can just select this I'm using keyboard with this um, expression we will have a point 20 frame animation in and out automatically. Meaning when you want to end this in four seconds, let's say for slide number one, it will have that auto fade out. So this would make more sense for the transition. As you can see here, it's not zoomed in. Or zoomed out. Let's end this going to the right part. Like this. And then use again flow. And since the background image is cropped, we can just add a uh, motion tile shift space bar. Motion tile. Your edges. And then add like so. So that's the general idea in designing your own After Effects template. Later, I'll be showing you how to add a controller. Let's say if you want to turn off the outline or change the color in one click, also the colors in few clicks, you can do that by, by having some uh, global controllers for all the slides. So yeah, that's the general idea here and designing your own templates. I hope you found this uh, helpful and thank you for watching.